So here's the thing. I've started this vlog three different times. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. Good morning friends, it's Tuesday the 30th of March. I can't believe this month is over, but I'm also really happy about it. And I just need to go for it. This is not going to be the only clip today. I'm gonna actually vlog and I'm gonna do it properly. Let's go. Do I have anything planned for today? Absolutely not. We are now in another lockdown. Restaurant indoor dining is closed. No group physical activity classes, which, you know, you guys know I dance, so I'm not very happy about that, but I'm gonna try and be positive because I, this bread is so frozen. I just haven't really been the most positive person lately and I'm going to try and fix that because I feel like, when it comes to vlogging, I have such a hard time with like faking emotions, which I don't think you should do, but also like we can't be <laughs> depressed in every video, you know? So I'm gonna try and really like channel that. I just feel like I need to get back in the swing of things to actually kick the mood into a better one. And so that's what we're gonna try and do today. And yes, I am making avocado toast with an egg on top because what else is there to do? So I just finished a Zoom Durham class with La Roche Posay and it was really cool, super informative. And like a lot of the stuff is starting to finally click when it comes to skincare and like what steps you should be doing. It's all starting to sound the same from a lot of different brands, which is really great because I feel like before it was like just so overwhelming with all of the products that are available. But for the most part, I feel like I'm actually doing things properly when it comes to skincare now. So that's cool. I think I will end up doing my makeup today. I haven't been, but I know like, oh my God. I know how much better I feel when I do my makeup. Let me just show you what my toast looks like. Some people might think I'm crazy, but I don't mind burnt toast. So this is what I'm dealing with today. If my toast is this burnt, I usually want to put peanut butter on it because I find that it tastes the best. It's so hot. But yeah, I'm, I'm a burnt toast kind of fan. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let me know in a comment down below. I feel like that there was a picture that went out at one point that was like, how toasty do you like your toast? And I found it so interesting, but let me know how toasty you like your toast. I'd be very curious, but I can go pretty toasty. <laughs> I also saw today that Toronto, or Ontario, I guess, had more restrictions put in place, even though things like quite literally just opened up. And I feel like BC has been a little bit better with that kind of stuff, but like all of it is not great, especially when we see people you know, in the States. It's just wild to me to see other people inside with other people, like other YouTubers filming together. I'm just like, like it just blows my mind because I haven't been inside without a mask on with other people in many, 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 many months. And it's just like so weird to see and like see people travel even if it's local and not local. I'm just like, I can't even fathom and we're like a year into this and I'm just like I'm so done that's why I'm so fatigued and I haven't been posting as much just because I'm like what is there to post I live the same day every day and nothing is exciting everything's sad and I'm just like I don't know I can't I can't seem to shake this feeling and I'm sure so many of you guys are feeling the same way so that's why I try not to complain about it too much or like post and all that kind of stuff and like I said it's just been hard like it just feels never ending and I know that it will at some point but it just feels really far away <laughs> yeah here's my breakfast slash lunch sometimes if I'm feeling fancy with my avocado toast with an egg on top I'll add a little bit of cheese or I've also seen people put honey on their avocado toast and like I don't do it every single time but it's kind of a fun treat to sprinkle like a little bit of honey kind of weird but it's delicious. I finished my breakfast and I quickly FaceTimed my mom. Repainted a couple nails. I got some new nail polishes for spring and they're the cutest colors. And this one is from Sally Hansen and it's their vegan one in mint refresh. And it's so stinking cute. And yeah, I just had to repaint a couple nails. I wanted to do a simple makeup look today because I'm not going anywhere. Obviously applied my unseen sunscreen first, especially after that derm class and learning about the importance of sunscreen because every skincare brand on the planet, that's like their number one thing, 
as it should be. And I got these L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundations or foundations in a powder. And I want to try it. I tried a little bit yesterday and I was really impressed, but I've seen people talk about this on TikTok. And so I wanted to give it a go. I'm gonna use the shade 125, just kidding, 120 vanilla. Also, this might be an absolute terrible idea because you guys know I have dry skin, but I'm curious and I feel like that's what experimenting with makeup is all about is like you just you try it and see so we're gonna try it and see it's quite powdery okay sometimes when you want like a more minimal look and you don't want to do like a tinted oil or something i feel like a powder foundation is kind of nice and i haven't really tried too many definitely mattifies the skin really nicely i'm not so sure about the coverage yet it does come with a sponge too. Oh wow, on camera I feel like it's really noticeable. Like more so than in person. Like the shine on my forehead versus the shine around my cheeks and stuff. I feel like it smooths out the skin really nice. And it doesn't get rid of like all of the shine. Like I feel like my skin looks super natural underneath. It does have a bit of coverage though. I'm impressed. Let's do the forehead where I'm breaking out a little bit. Maybe I could have gone with a darker shade. Obviously a more like glowy look is in right now, but sometimes you just want to like smooth everything out. And it doesn't get rid of all of the shine. I feel like it still looks pretty natural. It just looks, you know, mattified. I think I'm going to try the darker shade and just like see the shade comparison. P.S. Not sponsored in any way. L'Oreal did send me these products, but not sponsored, not being paid to talk about them or try them. Okay, let's see the difference if I can doing like a layer. They're pretty similar in shade. I think this one's probably better with my like little bit more tan skin at the moment. Other than this dry patch, because I have a little bit of self tanner that's like clinged on, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Like not, it doesn't feel drying at all. And it did a really good job of covering the spots that I have on my chin for the most part. Like I said, I'm going for a pretty natural look, but I'm I'm impressed with how much coverage this actually does give. Not bad. I really like that. Just a nice and quick and easy little, little makeup to do. I'm going to go in now with concealer. On my lighter makeup days, I've really been liking this Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage little duo end. It's good if you guys are, you know, not heavy makeup wearers. I'm going to go in with the correct side first. I'm going to blend this out with a brush. Now I'm going to use the Brighten, which is actually kind of interesting because I find that the Brighten side is like more peachy, which you would normally think that that would be the correct side because it like corrects and neutralizes the under eye area. The Sephora sale is coming up next week and I'm actually so excited. I have a couple videos planned. Let me know your thoughts, but I want to do a shop with me for the sale. So where you guys like virtually shop with me, like I just record myself shopping. I've seen a few people do those types of videos and it's so fun. So I thought that that could be kind of fun and also give you guys my recommendations in that video. And then once all of the products come in, do kind of like a, a testing products or like, you know, a haul, something along those lines, but probably a testing of, of the products because I think that could be kind of fun. Makeup is done. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really liking this powder foundation and like the way it looks, but it also feels like super lightweight and natural. So that's good. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. But I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update because while... I had a little bit of time off. I cleaned and reorganized my studio room. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that it is the end of an era because I removed the spots on my walls. So I basically wanted to take them off, see what the white wall looked like, and just kind of go from there. I found them to be a little bit overwhelming with the amount of stuff that I just have to have in this room. Unfortunately, I can't be a minimalist. I just have way too much stuff. So removing the dots has like brought a sense of calmness to me that I was searching for, so that's really good. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Dots be gone. So this is what the wall looks like, just plain white. And I don't hate it. I thought it was gonna feel a little bit smaller in here, but it definitely feels almost a little bit bigger, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so I restyled my shelf. I wanted to make sure my plant was like closest to the window because it was like thriving in that sense, but I also didn't want to have this plant too close. Also, this print is going to change out. I'm gonna do a full video and kind of re 
do some things in this room and so that's just a temporary spot because when I remove the dots unfortunately some of the paint did come off of the wall actually it's not from the dots I should clarify the dots came off seamlessly and they do not ruin walls at all and I'll actually link the dots down below in case you guys want them <laughs> because they're really easy and they're very renter friendly so these markings on the wall are actually from a <laughs> DIY sponsored video that I did quite a few years ago and I had like an adhesive thing on the wall that was like a whiteboard and when I peeled that off it took the paint off unfortunately and I have this big frame here because it's hiding Ooh, I can show you guys another spot on the wall right there and there's nothing more frustrating oh god oh god so that's kind of trying to cover that i don't really have a solution for that one and i tried to ask our maintenance guy for some like touch-up paint and he gave me the paint code and everything so i walked myself i didn't walk i drove to the paint store and the smallest container they could sell me is a gallon and i was like i need three spots of this i do not need a gallon of this paint and i hate this color anyway because it's green tinted or it's like yeah it pulls green and so that wasn't helpful at all and also the maintenance guy just like didn't recommend me doing spot treatment on the wall and i'm like well spot treatment <laughs> skincare uh didn't what is it spot touch up whatever he didn't recommend i do that i'm like well it's literally three spots i don't want to repaint the whole room because of that so anyway there's also a spot behind here so I wanted to put something tall so you could not see that and like I know it's not super noticeable but it is for me and it like just bothers me because I'm OCD like that and I was like oh yeah that's why I had the dots on the wall <laughs> because I was trying to hide those so that's uh, the current situation so like I said that print is going to be changed out and I really actually like what's going on up here with the champagne bottle the little candle and then my other plant I think that looks decent not great obviously I'd love to have like four things up there and like a cute vase and like have it all match in color but that's just like not realistic for my world so looks good for now and as for the rest of the room everything pretty much stayed the same I just kind of moved the desk over put the drawers here and I am getting a new desk I ordered a new one which I'm so excited like I said I'll be doing a full like makeover room situation so you guys will see me change that over my main goal with that is to remove all of the stuff on here and put it in the drawers and yeah so I have my equipment in the corner don't love that but it kind of works so I have lights and stuff over there have my workout stuff over there and then I have my Ikea Calyx that kind of just stores a bunch of random stuff and then camera stuff on top nothing is permanent but it looks a lot better I also love the rattan kind of pulling in together me and my cute outfit for today and then I do have my clothing rack on this side I had switched the calyx to be here but it looked really good when you were like standing here looking at the room but it didn't look good when I was like over here filming like this angle it was just like too bulky in the background so I was like you know what let's just put it back in the corner although it looked so cute having my clothing rack in this corner kind of looked like a little store especially with like the mirror beside it but just not practical unfortunately there's kind of only one one way to have this room especially because I need it to be dual function now more than ever that we're back on zoom with dance so I need the space to be able to dance in and like work out so this is kind of what we're dealing with but I'm happy with removing the dots I'm glad I did it it was something that I have been wanting to do for a while and I was scared to do it just because I didn't know what people would think but also like what it would feel like and I kind of like it and I'm also not opposed to the idea of maybe painting this like a fun color. I don't think I should do that because we rent, but I wish I could because I think that would be really cool to have like a nice accent wall. Oh, and also this shelf, I'm hoping to get another shelf and put it up here, like a longer one, because there's just so much room up there that I feel like I'm not utilizing and then I would hopefully be able to get rid of this ugly ass thing on the back of my door with all my shoes put all my shoes up there on display so that's my thought process like I said this will be another video coming soon as soon as I get that desk and like the other few things in I didn't want to go too crazy I didn't want to spend obviously a ton of money redoing this room because there's already so much in here didn't really make sense but with the few additional pieces I think it'll come together nicely and just make it a little bit more mature in here that was kind of another big thing about the dots is I just felt I had outgrown them and that's totally okay so that's that I'm definitely in like a spring cleaning mode I feel like this time last year I was posting so many videos about spring cleaning and stuff and it felt 
really good. We cleaned so much. Obviously, Cody was home, so it was a lot easier to get some things done. But I was able to go through my closet recently, which was really good. So here's the current situation. Basically, all of this will be going, all of my knits and stuff. So that'll hopefully take out a lot of room. I just kind of need to reorganize everything and then also sort everything down here in these little cubbies. This basket is full of clean clothes, so... I have to find a spot for this and I also have some other stuff but I need to go through this section and mostly the stuff on the hangers and also just free up some hangers. everything off of the hangers that needs to be put away and now I have to sort through what's down here and decide what's going back onto hangers and just reorganize this a bit better. Before my closet was organized basically by color for the most part, but now I feel like I want to coordinate it to be kind of by sections and then by color. So at the front I have bodysuits, but I actually have some specific hangers coming from Amazon that'll make it so I only have like one hanger, but I can hold six bodysuits. I always find myself gravitating towards t-shirts and I always forget the ones that I have. So I thought that putting them all in the same section would be great and then also color coordinating them. Also, it just breaks up the black. There's such a big black section of clothing in the middle and then now we move into like shirts I do have a couple bodysuits and like sweater type things but for the most part this is just like shirts and bits and pieces like that this section here is dresses although this is gonna grow probably a lot when I bring up my stuff from storage and then it goes into like cardigans and then shackets kind of towards the back which makes a lot of sense but again kind of color coordinated so starting with the lightest going to the darkest kind of here too. The day I'm able to have a walk-in closet, I'm like manifesting that for me because I would love to have all of my jeans on display so I can see what I have, but it's just not possible right now. So I kind of like roll them. I do need to sort through them and get rid of the ones that I know I'm not gonna wear. And I also obviously went through my closet while doing that and I came up with a pile of stuff. I still have to sort through this and see like what I want to keep and what I want to put on Poshmark or just donate. So I'm going to go through that now because I just want to get rid of this bin. Um, so if you're Canadian and you want to check out my Poshmark, I'll link it down below. If you're new to using Poshmark, I do have a code. Hi, Noodle. <laughs> um, you guys can check that out. But yeah, this is like a lot of stuff. And I just feel like my styles changed, like obviously this is what I'm wearing most of the time. So like even the thought of putting on half of these things is just like, I'm just not gonna do it. But I definitely feel like my style has changed quite a bit over the past year. And to think that this is the second spring now that we're not gonna be wearing like proper spring outfits cause like no one's really doing anything. It's just like mind boggling and like really sad. I feel a certain type of way about it. But anyway, I do need to get rid of stuff. I feel like I have clothes kind of lingering everywhere and it's stressing me out and I so wish I was the kind of person that could just like bundle it all up in garbage bags and go donate it which there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like I love my Poshmark so much that I love putting things on there but also I love in-person sales as well and so I want to do something like that when I can it's just I don't have an extra storage space to store all of this stuff and it's like I'm constantly getting new things in so it's just a lot so anyway my task this afternoon is to take pictures of these things and get them up on Poshmark wish me luck I am hitting my midday schlump that's literally this midday schlump <laughs> and I need a coffee also too a little update on la powder some shine is starting to come through not in a bad way though but just in case you're 
oily, which is kind of interesting considering I have dry skin, yet I have a nice natural sheen peeking through. Maybe a little bit of iced coffee. This is a new creamer I've been trying. It has zero sugar in it, which is great. And I feel like for certain coffees, you don't need the extra sweetener. So the other day when Cody and I went and did our grocery shopping, I already had these in the cart. They're the Brookside Dark Chocolate Acai and Blueberry flavors. They're so good. They're so addicting. They are gluten-free and they're just so good. Like they're so, so good. That's not great. I think Nespresso needs to come out with a iced coffee that stays around all year because I feel like they always come out with like a limited edition capsule in the summer. That's great, but I like iced coffee all year round, baby. So you should come out with one, a capsule that's iced coffee for all year so I don't have to have this watery version of an iced coffee. <laughs> Just saying. Gonna have a couple of these, drink my coffee, and continue editing. It is many hours later. I'm wearing a different outfit. How ironic is it that I put on jeans and a bodysuit at like 7 p.m.? because that's just what happened today. It's now 8.30, making dinner. You guys know we eat late. I'm doing a vegan red pepper pasta. I don't know. I've been out of the mojo of cooking recently, and so at the beginning of the week, I found some recipes. We got all the ingredients, and so, yeah, I've been trying to go out of my comfort zone. I think we did two meatless meals this week, which is really good. So, cooking up the chickpea pasta. Pasta, pasta, American, you know. I feel like I've been watching so many American people over the years say pasta and Britney too, that I just like automatically say that, but we always called it pasta. Now that sounds funny. I don't know what I call it. Anyway, making chickpea penne and gonna do the red pepper sauce. I have veggies roasting and then you like add cashews and you blend it up and there's nutritional yeast and all this stuff. Anyway, if it goes well, you may say it in a what I eat in a day, but yeah, changed my outfit, filmed some TikToks like one to two TikToks. I've been enjoying posting on there. I kind of took the pressure off and I'm just posting literally whatever I want and it's really fun. So today I did like a uh, old Disney Channel react type of thing and then earlier today I posted a H&M try and haul. So like you never know what you're gonna get over there. But if you are on TikTok, definitely follow me. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I feel like it's always a social media app that when I'm feeling down I'm like, I'm gonna spend some time on TikTok and then I like get into a phase and I post for a while and then I get out of the phase and I go back to Instagram and YouTube. I know it's like a weird thing. Anyway, go follow me if you want to. And oh, I got a really exciting package in the mail earlier. So we're gonna have to do another try on wear test in the next video because I gotta show you what I got. Well, it's from Fenty Beauty. I'm so excited because I've heard so many people talk about these new face drops. They're the Ease Drops. Is that what it says? Ease, ease Drop? Yeah. Blurring Skin Tint. And I was super close to buying this on Sephora because it seemed like a product I would really like. And I'm so grateful that they sent me three shades. They sent me one, two, and three. And I'm so excited. I tested it on my hand and it looked beautiful. So I want to try this out kind of like soon so I can let you guys know if it's worth picking up during the Sephora sale. And here's a product from Fenty Skin. It's their Hydrovisor, which is a invisible moisturizer with SPF 30. Complicated packaging, but I assume, I have to look into it, but I assume it's because it's probably refillable, which is really, really great. Love that it has SPF in it. Definitely going to look into this more and see if it'll be suitable for my skin. But yeah, I'm so excited, especially because I truly was about to buy this. So this is fantastic. I don't know if this looks appetizing or not, but it's a really sweet pasta. I tried it and the red pepper, I guess we bought like super sweet red peppers cause it's really, really sweet, but it's good. I'm trying to wilt down the spinach in here. It's been sitting a bit cause I had to go pick up Cody from work, but yeah, this is what the, the pasta looks like. It makes a lot. This is a whole box of the chickpea pasta. So we'll probably have leftovers, but that is dinner. So we ate dinner and it was okay. It wasn't my favorite dinner because it felt more like a lunch than a dinner, but we finished that. Cody tidied up the kitchen, which I appreciate, and I started to get a bit of a headache, so lately I've been trying to turn to CBD more so when that happens, and I received this. This is a Calm CBD spray. 
in. It's by the brand Calyx. It's spearmint flavor and you basically just spray a little bit under your tongue and hold it there for 30 seconds and then just like swallow and it just tastes like mint. And so I've been trying this out when it comes to like cramps and also headaches and stuff. And I feel like it does kind of work depending on the severity obviously of my headache. This one's kind of random. It just like happened and it's like behind my eye, which is like the worst. And so I just need to like massage and yeah. I think that's gonna be all for today's vlog. I feel like I was super, super rambly in this vlog because I obviously haven't picked up a camera in a week and a half. So I apologize if you're not super into hearing all the life updates, but if you are, I hope you enjoyed it. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.